but he did, and now Darren McCarty gets his shots in at Quad Lemieux. And look who came all the way out to try to help, Patrick Waugh. Oh my goodness. Mike Gordon with a great lift. Follows up with the right. How about this? Robbie Goldive, uh, number six defenseman on the MSU club hockey team, and I'm here to talk to my new friend, Sean, just uh, learning about the game here. Sean? Hey there, Rob. Sean, when uh, you're obviously a newcomer to the game. Uh, I that what, I am. What do you think of when you hear the word hockey? Hockey? Isn't that just a bunch of uh, angry Canadians with uh, no teeth skating around with some Eskimos on some ice? You know what? You hit the nail right on the head there, bub. All right. Uh, anything else? Do you have any more feelings about the game? I mean, you, you got your fighting, you got your scoring, you even got your puck sluts every now and then, but I think it's uh, just some angry ass trying to take out some frustration. Well, thanks for your time there, Shawnee. Thank you. All right. I'm here with another interviewer, uh, Matt Bobek. Kid's been around the game for a long time, never really got the pleasure to step on the ice, but uh, here he is. Matt, how do you, uh, what comes to mind when you hear the word hockey? Um, it's a great sport, you know. Um, a lot of passion involved with players. Um, look at I mean, you look at Jonathan Taze, Patrick Kane played the game since they were eighteen. Show a lot of skill, you know. They have great, great the grind for the game. They have great passion for it, you know. Yeah, you know, it's great to see people who haven't had the pleasure to step on the ice have that kind of have that kind of passion for the game. Absolutely, Rob. Thanks a lot, Matt. All right, thanks. So Robbie here again, here with uh, Skylar Garfield, and we're trying to get a female's perspective on the game of hockey. So. Skylar, when you hear the word hockey or think of hockey players, what pops into your head? I think they're douchebags, but I love them, and I'm going to marry one. Thank you so <laughs> much. You know, the, the interviews were going great. Then I started asking people about the stereotypes. Hockey, beer, beer, and lots of beer. Passionate, with great hair. Hockey players, sexy. Pricks, pricks. 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 Uh, welcome back. I'm here with uh, one of my good buddies, Matt Alamang, and he's been playing the game for how long? Ever since I could walk. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. And I'm just going to ask him a few things coming from a hockey player's perspective. And when you hear the word hockey, what, what comes to your mind? Uh, the first two things are uh, hard work. Dedication, family. Absolutely. And when you hear about things that people say from the naked eye, from the outside world, how would you describe hockey compared to what they think? You know, the naked eye just sees a bunch of angry guys skating around on the ice, hitting each other. But um, from a hockey player's point of view, it's a family working towards a common goal. Absolutely. And what? give me a run through of a typical day, day in the life of a hockey player. Uh, on game day, we start out with uh, early morning skate, followed by a uh, team breakfast. Uh, bond with the boys a little bit. We're always at the rink early. Um, Got to get there for warm ups. Enough time to get dressed. Um, go on the ice for a quick warm up. Come in, uh, listen to the coach for a quick tweak on the uh, game strategy, and go out there and take it to him. And was would there be anything that you'd change about hockey? Nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm.